Welcome, combatants, to another day in the arena. It's your boy James, aka Neural Net Games, and today I'm bringing you an elf deck. It works really well. It hits super hard, it hits super fast, and it's a really fun, quick deck to play. So, if you're looking for something that can do some work and is quick, this is definitely the deck for you. Before we get into the deck tech, if you could go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm putting out new decks every single day and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's start with the deck tech first. We've got a bunch of elves. We've got the dusk wielder, which is a really good one drop and it's got both target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. So you're doing two damage to them. You're gaining one life. That's a three point swing every time. Then we've got our two drops here. We've got a Skemfar Avenger. Whenever another non-token elf or berserker you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. These guys are really good board protection because when somebody wipes you with a devastating mastery, a doom scar, a blood on the snow, all that stuff, these guys activate and you just draw a bunch of cards back. If you've got two of them, you're going to refill your hand. Yeah, you're going to take some damage, but it's almost always worth it. Our next creature is the elvish war master this is just good for building up your crew and interacts really well with uh, the canopy tactician making stronger elves and you know once we get to seven mana we can really take over the game and you know get some extra damage they get death touch etc our other two drop here is the prosperous innkeeper this helps us ramp I mean, the number one thing you probably want to do is go Dusk Wielder to Prosperous Innkeeper to Canopy Tactician or something along those lines. Maybe you go Dusk Wielder, Elvish War Master, Prosperous Innkeeper, Canopy Tactician. They just give one, you bring a lot of creatures into play with the Elvish War Master and stuff like that. And they really help you just smooth out you know, some of the mana problems by making those treasures and they help you ramp. So very good. Coma's Faithful Life Linkers. These guys can really help you out, you know, just to get some extra life. They're a pretty decent three drop. They attract a lot of attention. And what people usually do is they kill the Coma's Faithful. They leave your skin far. And so you're never at disadvantage when your creatures are getting killed. And that is key in this deck. Uh, the Skemfire Avengers are absolutely essential. If you play this deck, don't cut these guys. You have to have four of these to play this deck. Without it, the deck will not work. Just, yeah. These guys are not essential. I still think maybe I'm looking for another three drops uh, creature or something here. But anyways, whenever you cast a creature spell, if snow was spent, you get to add a plus one, plus one counter on it, which can just make everything a bit tougher. It has come into play a few times. This right here... We're running one Agadim's Awakening. Again, some more board wipe protection. You just go back and you just you spend four mana and you get back a Dusk Wielder. You get back an Avenger. You get back a Faithful. You get back a Canopy Tactician. Seven total mana. Three black, four others. It helps against board wipes. I think it's in one of these videos. I'm trying to remember because I lost so many videos due to audio problems. I don't want to complain too much about it, but it's my own fault. So I shouldn't complain. I left my mic to the side and the audio was ruined on my first set of games. It was too bad because the games were amazing. Anyways, Crippling Fear is great. And I love this piece of deck tech because we're running all elves basically except the Prosperous Innkeeper. And so we can just wipe the field so good against mono white and mono green. And I forgot to talk about the Blizzard Brawls. We have a lot of like high power, low toughness creatures in here. And so we can get rid of trolls, wolves, all that kind of stuff. Very, very useful for us. And great to combo with the faithful to get in and attack indestructible, get a bunch of life, make things difficult on your opponent. And then we've got a canopy tactician. You get a couple of these out. All your elves get way stronger and you just roll. Binding of the old gods. This is just to kill things. Chariots. Chariots, 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 gold span dragon, gold span dragon, gold span dragon. And then we've got Herald Unites the Elves. Mill three cards. You may put an elf or Tyvar card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Again, helps you with card advantage in case you get board wiped, stuff like that. And you can build up your elves. And then next turn, you put a plus one, plus one counter on each elf you control. And then 
third turn of the saga when you attack every elf gives a minus one minus one this is really good this comes into play more than you would think this card is big advantage in an elf deck maybe i should run three of them i'm considering it then we've got snow covered swamp snow covered forest 20 land 25 total land in the deck maybe it needs one more or two i seem to have problems today but it was problems both ways. I was getting flooded like crazy. Then I would get all green cards and all swamps. Then I would get forests and all black cards. Like it was, it was crazy. Anyways, we're also running only two woodland chasms because this deck, it needs to go fast. I wouldn't run more than that. I started out when I was doing testing running four and I just kept, it was slowing me down too much. And then the Faceless Havens, they also count as elves. So when you've got a canopy tactician out, it's a five, four. Very, very good. Adds up pretty fast. And the deck overall hits really hard. It's fast. And it's actually reasonably resilient to sweepers. So it can do pretty well. What it struggles a little bit with is creatures that have high toughness and some flying stuff, right? We don't have flying in here. And so sometimes we can struggle there. But the goal, this is a linear deck. The goal is just to get out, get a bunch of elves and start rampaging on your opponent. Okay. That's enough. Let's get to the games. Let's get to it. Okay, we're on the play here. Good hand. Going to keep it. Hopefully it's not one of those conceder people. No, it's not. A couple of those today. <laughs> you never get any rank from it anyways. It was pointless. Uh, Elvish Warmaster first. Then the Dusk Wielder. You can also go Boreal Outrider first. Although they did just play a Seagate a Reborn. So I'm a little bit worried about a Jawari here, to be honest. So I'll probably just go Dusk Wielder. They can eat their Jawari. Uh, they probably don't have anything. Just the way it clicked through there, I probably don't have a Jewelry. It's some sort of crazy poppet stitcher deck, I guess. Okay, so we play the Boreal. Uh, we can't. We can't do both. What do we play first? Canopy puts us at three, three, two, three, two, two. Blizzard Brawl. Yeah, I think we actually get rid of this first. Which really sucks, because it stops us from playing everything else, you know? Just annoying. But if this is a pop, if it's got pop and stitchers in it, it's one of their key components. And then we can also boast here too. Hit pretty hard, pretty fast. Unfortunately, I had a bunch of other games recorded. And they were really good games, too. The deck was functioning really well. And I did not have my mic close enough. And there's their second Poppet Stitcher. So, we probably go Skem Far here. Or do we go Boreal Outrider first? Boreal first. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit worried. Canopy Tactician allows us to do a lot better too. We're gonna start there. So they block the Dusk Wielder. And we have Lethal on board here. Two, four, six, eight, nine, yeah. They're gonna have to do something. They can't Cinderclasm. They're digging for an answer. They cannot block with that. We do have a Faceless Haven to attack with as well. Uh, they have three mana. They've got an island there. They haven't scooped yet. So... What do we play here? Do we? I guess we just pop the Faceless Haven up.
I don't know exactly what they plan on doing, but we're going to get close to lethal here. They have one blocker, so we have 5, 9, 12 on board. Even if they get rid of one other, they divide by zero. Okay, yeah, they divide by zero that. Yep, that's fair. They kill the Elvish War Master. Uh, we still boast. No, okay, so they, yeah, I guess so. See if they have some sort of wipe in play. If they do, we'll just come right back at them. We have a faceless haven too. Burn down the house. Would potentially save them, and they scoop. See ya. Deck is swinging. Oh, that sounded bad. Okay, we're on the play with an absolute dud. Thanks so much. And another pile, but that we have to keep. Yeah, and we're going to get rid of the Crippling Fear. We have three of them in the deck. We'll go Elvish War Master into Prosperous Innkeeper into Coma's Faithful, I guess. Depending on what we draw. That's just with what we have right now. Um, Prosperous gets us into Comas. Yeah. We're actually going to go Prosperous first. Gives us a little bit more options. Because we have the treasure. We'll go War Master though. And hopefully I don't have to use the treasure. Because I'd like to keep it if I can. Oh, another party deck. I played a party deck earlier. It was a good battle. I ended up losing. If I had actually put my mic near my face, you would be able to watch that one. But unfortunately, I did not. Okay, War Master. Um, let's Blizzard Brawl the Paragon. Um, let's wait till next turn. We're gonna have it anyways. Then I can attack, get a little extra damage. Ah, but then they attack, right? Do they? Do they attack? Do they attack next turn? If they do, I should Blizzard Brawl. If they don't, I shouldn't. No, they don't. They want to fill their party. They're not going to attack just yet. Let's see them. No, watch them just be crazy. The Archpriest is pretty good, too. Probably better to take out than the the Paragon. Okay, so we've got a Comas Faithful. We've got a Blizzard Brawl. We can get a Comas out, or we can go Boreal Outrider first, because Comas doesn't really get us anywhere, right? But we can't do both. We can't Blizzard Brawl. Maybe we have to go wide here. Can we go wide, though? Yeah, let's do this first. We're just going to sit back. We get an elf. No attacks. It's been a very awkward game so far. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose. Hopefully they've got a little mana problems here. No, nope, they don't. And they play the Dastardly Squad Commander. Yeah, that's really bad. This deck is pretty good. It combos really fast. Okay, so we this guy is flying in indestructible. This guy is flying indestructible. We can't do anything about them. We can kill the paragon like this. That was not nice of them. Okay. So we can play a coma's faithful. Each creature in your party. If you have a full party, creatures you control. Okay, so I have to kill that guy. We're not in good shape here, that's for sure. Pay hey, with snow. Blizzard brawl. and they have the perfect answer. One, two, three, four, 
I don't think we can live here. Let's... Yeah, they're going to attack. They've got their full party still. Yeah, they would have had it anyways, right? They can do 12. We can technically block and stay alive. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, pretty deadly. Two six threes. They've got a lot going on. Okay, let's just let's just play it out. Two two there. Three two there. Three one there. One one there. <laughs> and we're not gonna live. Yeah, not even close. Wow, they pretty much curved out perfectly. Okay, pretty okay hand, I guess. Oh, painful. Oh, well, at least if they kill the skim fires once we get a couple of them up, then uh, we can have a little card draw. I do like these guys a lot. They do work pretty well. Being somewhat protected from board wipes is pretty nice. And this is actually maybe going to go well for us. Get the faceless out. Coma's faithful. Curving out, hopefully. Uh, play another Coma's next turn. Okay. Ranger class. Um, the question is, do we attack with the Faceless Haven? Or not? Or do we go Comas? Probably just Comas and hang back. Let's go wide here. We'll go wide and then uh, hopefully use a crippling fear to kill everything, go wide, and just swing in for a massive attack. Yeah, I think going wide makes the most sense. Let's see what they got. Maybe they're having some mana problems. Blue, green. They don't have much for board wipes in here, so I'm probably going to play pretty aggressively. Oh, they've got a wizard class, Kate. Okay. We'll go one more Comas Faithful. And then we'll go wide the next turn, probably. Go for it, I mean. Opponent goes into the tank. Come on, Python. Some sort of programmer, I guess. Okay, they level it up. Please attack. Please. I would love for you to attack. I would love it so much. Jeez, am I going to have to edit this video to cut this part out? Taking so long. <laughs> okay. Mill some cards, draw a card. It's all good. Yeah, we're going to go snow covered swamp here. And we'll go both. We can go pretty hard because we have an Agademes, although we can't actually technically play it yet. Do we want to wait? Yes. We want to wait. You're going wide, James. You're going wide here. <laughs> they don't have board wipes. We get to draw some cards. They can start pumping things up once they get that to level 
three with five mana. We have a Crippling Fear. Okay. This is probably where we go for it. Shields are down. KG. See if they can do something to hold on. With the Faceless Haven, even if they unsummon one, we still have lethal. They have four cards in hand. They have six total mana, and they play a Delver. Okay. Means they can block one. Still have lethal. That's two. Don't have lethal anymore. But we do, yeah, we need one more. Um, if we attack, we get six in and we lose two guys. And they lose one. Then they can unsummon or something. We also lose our faceless haven, right? Yeah, the prosperous innkeeper is really good because now we can play an Agadim's Awakening after we go all in right here. And we're going to draw a bunch of cards and stuff too. Put the heat on. Draw a card, draw a card, draw a card. Um, and we save. Yeah, we can't play that. So we're not playing the Elvish War Master. See if they can pull something out here. We have three guys. Technically, yeah, they get. They have one mana. They can unsummon one. Oh, we say unsummon old habits, fading hope. Okay. <laughs> and they scoop. They just wanted to get that last little hit on me and gain zero rank again. We're keeping that. It has been an absolutely rough, rough day today. Everything between mic problems and then problems with my recording software. I was recording only half the screen and I didn't notice. I recorded six games and... <laughs> The sound was wrong. Oh man, Cra craziness today. Absolute craziness. And just insane lucky comeback wins. The footage that I lost because I only had hopped half the screen. I had the opponent down with lethal on board. They had one card left. They played an Inferno of the Star Mounts. So they did 16 damage with it and a Goldspan Dragon to beat me. Pretty good times. Okay, let's let's Blizzard Brawl. Magda can ramp hard. Hurts, but hurts a lot. Don't really want to have to do that, but <laughs> I don't think that's I don't think that's a good trade for them I don't think that's very good for them I really don't Herald that unites the elves it's a pretty good card it works quite well if you got a decent amount of elves out Put you, you get card advantage out of it you get a bunch of decent things out of it okay we can Blizzard Brawl. We can Herald. I'd prefer not to Herald just yet. Like, what if we miss? Um, 
Ah, let's do it. We gotta go for the throat. We gotta go for the throat. Too cautious. And we get nothing. At least we got through that, though, I guess. Wow. Painful. Like, what is this? I'm just not getting a good card distribution today. I get all my crippling fears or none. I never get them at the right time. I get all my creatures and no land. I get all my land, no creature. It's just it's one of those days. I'm still above 50% though. But I have nothing to do now. <laughs> Look. This deck has so many creatures. Just a bunch of prosperous innkeepers and blizzard brawls. I mean, at least we can, you know, stay in a reasonable shape here, but. We're going to wait and try and. Yeah, the problem is if I no spell, it go, gets out of range of the crippling fear. Same with them. And that can be a problem. have enough to do the Agadims if I get it. I don't really need the treasure. I could Crippling Fear. I could Binding of the Old Gods. I think I actually want to wait, though. If they know spell, I can always Binding of the Old Gods. And if they do play a spell, then I may get more than one out of Crippling Fear here. Yep, there we go. Play one more creature. Play one more creature. Yeah, count it up. You have four. You can't attack with the bugbear, but you can play another creature. Yeah. Bugbear is one out of reach. I got blue in here, too. I don't think we're going to trade here. They don't want to trade either. So we'll just keep stacking up what we got. We just got to make sure not to no spell. And if they no spell, well, we just crippling fear. Um, do I hold off? They have three turns of life if I kill them. I still got a binding of the old gods. It's really close. It's really close. I think we got to go for it. No, we don't have it yet. No, I want to wait till next turn. See if they can rope themselves out. I played the Elvish War Master. Because I want to get it in three turns from when I do it. And it would be nice if they did something else. Potentially they could have something insane like a Jawari in here too if they have blue. I doubt it. But maybe they've got just Test of Talent splashed in for like all runs. That card is... I mean it can stop Binding of the Old Gods, right? Can it? No, it can't. It can stop Crippling Fear though. Okay. So they have one card left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can only crippling fear or comas unless we pull a land. They have a den of the bug bear out as well. Which is kind of a pain. Um we can go comas and the bug bear. Or, not the bugbear. Comas and the Skemfar. See what they have in their hand. This should hold them off. They can strike for 4, 7, 8 right now. Huh. Or more. We do have a binding of the old gods. We did 
take five. They don't have, yeah. They don't, they have enough mana to activate the bugbear now if they want. Okay, so we get more land now when we don't need it. Gravy. Okay, so we have three, six, seven mana. They have a bugbear, so they can technically block. Um, let's crippling fear. Um, this is only a three, two. If we attack with both, they can't lethal us, I believe, but I'll probably leave one back just in case. And then we'll binding of the old gods. Elf. And it's okay. That they pull the, the bugbear here. And they don't. I seek his chariot. That was probably their top deck. In fact, I guarantee it was their top deck. Wow. Just can't win with the timing. Just can't win with the timing. Craziness. Absolute ridiculousness. Just top decks the flipping chariot. Yeah, that's what they had. That's what they had in their hand. They top decked the chariot. They have endless mana. <laughs> Too bad they don't have a light up the night. Okay. Blizzard Brawl, the gold spin, chariot, binding the old gods, the chariot. Okay, that's a decent top deck. Maybe we're gonna get a little bit of luck here right now. They have no they have nothing left in their hand. Binding the old gods the chariot. Chariot. Attack with Coma's Faithful, not the Avenger. Double block. Miss the indestructible. That's we need an advantage. Okay. We go up to 13. All they have is a bugbear right now. But they will lose a race against us. They have one card in hand. What do we want? Not a prosperous innkeeper. Elvish Warmaster. Um... Harold, Harold unites the elves. They no spell. Um, I think we go to, yeah, okay. We get a forest, I know, okay, thank you. Board wipe protection, and draw some cards. <laughs> I think we're gonna attack with the Skemfar. They sacrifice, we get to draw a card. Or they take damage. Okay. They take it. See what they're holding on. Watch them pull a light up the night on me. <laughs> okay. So they have a den of the bugbear. What are they gonna do? Okay. 
what do we want to do here? If I block with Comus Faithful, I get two cards. And I get more life. Let's see what their plan is here. <laughs> two lands? Okay, so we get a canopy tactician here. Double spell the day, just in case they have another reckless storm seeker, right? No, we don't double spell the day. I put I played a land. Okay, so we keep attacking, so we can draw some more cards here. One goes down. They're at six. <laughs> Another land. Five, six, eight. I've drawn ten of my lands. Top third. Okay. We have another binding of the old god. I guess we use it on the sentinel. Right? Steal three more damage. I guess we just sit here. It's a top deck war. <laughs> they get a land. They can attack with one. And we get another land. Nice. <clears throat> Five, eight, and we've got 11 lands. They get their ninth land. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe they're not attacking. So close. This is what's happened to me all day. Is just the weirdest stuff just keeps happening. You know? Trample in haste. No blocks, I guess. Hope for a card. And we get another land. Nice. I think we're dead. One, two. They have five on board. They can do four. Oh, it's plus two, plus oh. Yeah, it's game over. Okay, that's a good hand. One of the few that I've actually had on the play today. It's not the best hand. It doesn't start off nearly as fast as I want. Every hand today has just got something... Totally wrong with it. I flood out in lands. I get a one cast cost and then all four in lands. Yay. I'm so bitter today. Oh, man. This has been my most challenging day of magic ever, I would say. I'm above 500 still. But I can't. I can't. I, yeah. I'm not going to complain anymore. I'm above 500. I've lost three or four percentage points of rank. I've lost multiple recordings due to different issues. I've been mana flooded. I've been mana screwed. I've been wrecked in every single possible way. <laughs> every possible way. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to have. I guess we're going to have to do that. Or not. I 
I guess we're gonna have to bind the old gods on it. Um, do I want the tactician first? Yeah, let's go tactician first. Um, no attacks. We can get rid of that whenever we need to. Get rid of that, and then we can crippling fear and take over the game, hopefully. Hopefully they're going to play a bunch of smaller creatures out here, like that. Let's see who they actually put it on, although we don't want them getting a ton of life, you know? What are they going to do? They put it there, okay. I guess we have to deal with that right now. Um, We can't wait too long. We can do a crippling fear to take out everybody else. I mean, unless they pull another Luminarch. Okay, let's bind the old gods here. And let's play the Boreal Outrider with the canopy. Let's go wide here. Crippling Fear. Or Herald Unites the Elves and then Crippling Fear. Let's see if we can get him to rope out a little bit more. As long as I don't get another Luminarch and go double counters on the one Luminarch, I think we're in okay shape. That's kind of a pain. Okay, that's really good. So we Blizzard Brawl the Valkyrie with the Outrider and then we Crippling Fear everything else. And that should just about do it for this game. Oh, we can't Crippling Fear. <laughs> we have to Herald Unite the Elves. <laughs> Uh, I don't have enough. <laughs> okay, there's a skim fire. That's okay. Let's just attack with the Outrider right now. And the Dusk Wielder? I don't want to lose the Tactician. Uh, I am just having a hard time concentrating now today because I'm so jaded. Elves all get tougher next turn. And they get Death Touch. That goes to a 3-5. And we get exactly what we need. Um, do we wait? They can't do anything about this anyways. 5, 9, 12. We have 17 damage on board. Yeah, we still crippling fear though. They have to block. Oh, they're crazy. <laughs> they're just giving up, maybe. Maybe they have their own. They can't even they can't board wipe here. They would have had to have foretold a doom scar to board wipe. Which they have not done. I can't believe they haven't scooped already. I don't see any way out of this for them. They go into the tank with one life and three mana and one creature. What can you possibly do here? I mean, this would be a miracle for them to stay alive. Even still, I can still boast with the Dusk Wielder, even if they played three creatures that each had one casting cost. Ha 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 ha. 
All right, let's wrap this one up. Oh man, I am so sorry about how salty I was during these games. This was a crazy day. I was 30 games in at the point you're watching those videos because I did a bunch of testing. I tweaked the deck three, four, five times to get it to actually work right. And then, <laughs> and then I ruined my footage by not having my microphone close enough and so the audio was unusable and then i accidentally screwed something up in obs by clicking and dragged my screen over so i was only showing half the screen anyways i think once the deck got tweaked it worked quite well i was running really hot getting some turn five turn six kills stuff like that it did quite well overall it is missing something though there's a little something that it needs and I'm not sure exactly what it is. I think the Outriders, I don't know if they're great, but we do need probably another three drop. So I think it needs to be a three drop in there. And so make sure and comment, let me know if you have any ideas on, you know, how this deck can just get a little bit better. So it is a tier two deck right now, but I, it's totally viable and mythic. It's a really fun deck to play too, because it can really get going out of nowhere. And it is pretty resilient to sweepers because of the Skemfar Avengers, because of the Agadim's Awakening, because of Harold Unites the Elves, and you know, because of the Faceless Havens even, you can get right back in it when you get wiped. Even if you get wiped for three, four or five creatures, Next turn, you can have three, four creatures again, depending on how it goes, but it works, you know, overall quite well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry if I was a little salty. It's so hot in my studio right now. I'm sweating, I'm annoyed. I worked so hard on this deck today. <laughs> and finally, I made it. Again, just wanted to say thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the flip side.